Hey what's up guys, MajHD here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Cathay Pacific 777-300ER in their new livery. This is made by JC Wings in a 1-200 to scale. Please check the, the uh, description in case you miss anything throughout this video. And my Facebook and Twitter links will be down there as well as the website where I pre-ordered this from where, uh, which is easytoys.com. This is my 30th 777 model and it's my 8th Cathay Pacific model. Some information about Cathay Pacific. The operations base is out of uh, <clears throat> Cathay City at Hong Kong Czech Lapcock Airport. Main hub is Hong Kong Czech Lapcock. Focus cities are Taoyuan International Airport and Suvinabumi Airport. They were founded on the 24th of September 1946 and their fleet as of the 22nd of February 2016 <coughs> consists of 145 aircraft. 70 of which are 777s and 53 of those are 777-300ERs. They serve 177, 177 destinations including cargo, and their current 777-300ER 300 routes are from Hong Kong, Czech Lapcock to Amsterdam, Schiphol, Auckland, Bangkok, Beijing, Boston, Logan, Cebu, Chicago over here, Denpasar, Dusseldorf, Frankfurt, Ho Chi Minh City, Johannesburg, Oa Tambo, London Heathrow, Los Angeles, Manchester, Manila, Milan, Newark Liberty, New York JFK, Osaka, Kansai, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Rome Fumicino, San Francisco, Seoul Incheon, Singapore Changi, Sydney Kingsford Smith, Taoyuan, Tokyo Haneda, Tokyo Narita, Toronto Pearson, Vancouver and Zurich. Quite a lot. Uh, first flight for this aircraft was on the 3rd of December 2009 and was delivered to Cathay Pacific on the 14th of December 2009. And the Boeing customer code for Cathay is 67. Alright, so looking on the box here with Cathay Pacific, picture of the aircraft, bone triple seven three hundred here, and one two hundred scale. On the back, just a basic looking back of the box. Warnings. <coughs> no um no J Sevens logo which you usually see. Top of the box and the bottom. Okay, so let's take a look inside. Is the model. Alright guys, so the model is now out of the box and we're going to start here at the cockpit windows on the port side. Okay, so there we have the cockpit windows, window wipers, pitot tube, static ports, the um, the brushwing Cathay logo. We also have part of the registration there on the gear door, PM. If you look by the first first cabin door, we have the One World logo because Cathay is a member of One World, which is in, which is a group of 15 airlines. Cathay Pacific titles. Also a One World logo there by the second cabin door. The inboard landing light. And the G90 engine with the G90 uh, logo on the sides of this. Specifically is the G90-115B engine. Engine looks very nice, very detailed. We have the engine strike on the inside of the engine nacelle and the fan blades do spin. I've noticed um, when I pulled this out of the box there was, you can see slight paint chips at the front uh, on the uh, leading edge on the bottom there, uh, kind of disappointing but it shouldn't be too noticeable, I mean if you just get a bit of grey paint, I can, f I can fix it up um, it's not, not serious it's not like, you know, um, the Etihad where the paint had chipped off the tail there we have the red navigation light and the strobe light back onto the fuselage We see the SWI logo because they own the majority of Cathay, so it's technically the parent company. Registration number BKPM or Bravo Kilo Papa Mike. And there's the nice brush wing with the more refined all green tail. 
The tail looks, um, I think, better, but on the, fus the, the fuselage itself, I don't think it does. Um, it looks just a bit too bland compared to their old livery or their other previous livery. I shouldn't say it's old. Um, but we have the a a APU exhaust and the strobe light above the exhaust right there. Okay, now on the starboard side now, we have window wipers, cockpit windows, pedo tube static ports, the logo, part of the registration number, Cathay Pacific titles, front cargo container door, inboard landing lights, the G90 engine, on the wingtip we have the green navigation light, back onto the fuselage. We have the rear cargo container door, bulk bin door beneath the registration there, Swire logo, and then the Cathay logo on the tail. Okay, so let's take a look underneath the aircraft here. So we have the nose gear, markings underneath the aircraft there, knacker ducts, got an antenna just here, a bit hard to notice. Um, Beacon light hole for the stand, main gears, gear doors, underneath the wing, very detailed, flap slats, ailerons, this piece sticking up right here, that's the fuel dump valve, the nice raked wingtips, underneath the engine, same on this side but with the registration number, continuing down, Two antennas there, uh, cabin pressure relief valve, the grey square tail skid right there, and the APU housing on top of the aircraft, anti collision light, antenna, which oh no, for a second there I thought it wasn't glued on properly, it's just it's been bent, overwing emergency exits. Flap slats, ailerons, and spoilers. Got some markings there. Probably like no step markings, I'd expect. Alright, so continuing down with the SATCOM. Two more antennas. Then the two grey dots on each side. On the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizers, those are the logo lights that light up the tail at night time. All right, so the seating of the aircraft. Two configurations. <coughs> Version 1, business class, 40 flatbed seats, rows 11 to 12 and 15 to 23. That's from here to, to here. Then we have premium economy, 32 seats, rows 30 to 33. That's from here to here. Then economy, 268 seats, rows 39 to 57 and 59 to 72. That's from here all the way to the back of the aircraft. That's a total of 340 seats. Then version 2, which is this aircraft. There is first class, 6 open suites, rows 1 to 2. That's from here to here. Then we have... Um, <clears throat> business class, 40, uh, 53 flatbed seats, rows 11 to 12 and 15 to 26. That's from here to, to sorry about this guys, um, to here. Then we have premium economy, 34 seats, rows 30 to 34. That would be from here to here. And then here, all the way to the back of the aircraft is economy. And that's a total of 182 seats, rows 39 to 46 and 59 to 72 with a total of 275 seats.
All right, so a little bit about the livery here. So in November 2015, the airline revealed a refreshed version of its previous livery. So it's just been refined, um, as you, you can tell, featuring a simple patent scheme while maintaining their trademark brush wing on an all green tail. This 777-300ER was the first aircraft to wear the new livery from the 1st of November 2015. The second aircraft was a 747-400ER uh, freighter, registered BLIA. Some features of this model, rolling landing gear, they will roll quite nicely. Tilting landing gear, I also had a problem with um, a snow scare, this one does swivel by the way, not like my New Zealand one which was it's really stuck. Um, but uh, the problem was that it had um, come away, this, it wasn't glued on, the pieces weren't glued on properly, so I had to do, do that myself. Can't really show you, but um, there is this. They they are they were they're supposed to be separated, and and you know they're glued together at the factory. Um, so they obviously weren't put together right. So when I moved, I swiveled the gear for the first time. It's literally popped it away from from the housing. But it it, it was an easy fix. Okay, so now I'll show you guys the stand basic JC wing stand, Cathay Pacific logo, Boeing 777-300ER, scale 1 to 200, the nice plaque there, wooden base, film on the back of the metal to protect the metal, just going to remove it, okay so just peel it away here, nice shiny metal back, Padding on top of the stand to protect the model underneath so the paint doesn't get scratched off. Alright, there it is. It looks very nice on the stand. And I pulled the, the gear off before so you obviously know they're magnetic gears. They can come off very easily. Put it back in there. And then when you want it in the in-flight position, you have the gear doors to put on. Put them in the tilt. Well, they don't really go in the tilting position because JC Wings added a new feature to help them so they wouldn't tilt too far because they had an issue where they would tilt too far. But um, now that they've added this little feature, it gets stuck on it, so it's not able to actually tilt properly at all. Properly at all, um, it just basically sits flat. You can go that way a little bit, but it doesn't doesn't want to tilt the the right way, like it's coming into land. So even though JC Wings have added that to stop it from going too far, they've stopped it from tilting altogether, which is it makes everything more problematic for them because it was fine when you could tilt it. Uh, even though it got over tilt, but you could at least attempt to put it in the right position, if you get what I'm saying. You could at, at least try and, you know, carefully, carefully tilt the gear, but now that they've done this, they've um, kind of ruined it and ruined it in a way, so I hope they, they get the message and they, and they, you know, change it. Because, because uh, right now it's, um, it won't tilt, obviously. But anyway, apart from that, issue it's a really nice model I'm, I'm not I'm not entirely keen with delivery the tail does look very nice but but the fuselage kind of um, bland for me I did prefer the old colors on the fuselage anyway guys if you did like this video please leave a like comment tell me what you think below tell me if you're going to get this model um, I do really recommend this model it's it's just it's a stunning looking model also subscribe for more. Next up is the Eva Air 777-300ER in the new livery. And go check out my previous five unboxings. And um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Also share this video so other people can know about it. As always, and see if they want to get it as well. Because this is one you do not want to miss out on, trust me. Anyway guys, I do really hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.